This video tutorial is designed to help you understand how to create a quiz using quizzes. In it, you'll learn how to search for existing quizzes, how to create your own quiz, and the different types of questions you can create. To start, navigate to quizzes.com. Go ahead and log in. If you haven't created an account, you can either create one there or you can link it to your Google account so that you don't have to create a separate account for quizzes, making it a little bit easier to log in so you don't have to remember a password. Once you've logged in, you'll come here to your search page. This is where you can look for quizzes that already exist. So if you have a specific quiz you want to go through, it can be helpful to look for one first before creating your own in case there's one out there that fits exactly what you would like. You can also go through and browse by content area if you would like to just go see what's out there. If you would like to create your own quiz, on the left side you'll see this little plus sign. This is your create a quiz button. Open that up. It's going to create it so that you need to go in and add a title. You'll want to select your content area that the quiz is about and then decide if it's public or private. When you have that, you can click done. You can also add a question or an image there if you would like. It has our first question set up here, so we're just going to type in our question. Our answers. And then you notice here, all of them are marked as incorrect. So we're going to want to find our correct answer and click where it says incorrect and it'll change it to the correct answer. Now when students select Thursday, they'll get the question right. When we're done with a question, just click on new question to go to your next one. One of the cool things about quizzes is that it allows you to use symbols that you might not be able to use in other programs. To get there, you're just going to click on this button right here. So if I say, say I want to ask what the square root of 9 is. I can go in and add different types of symbols using this little menu that pops up when you click on this button right here. Another little tip that can be helpful with math, you can also use superscripts. Um, that can come in handy if you need to write exponents or something along those lines. So we have our question. Again, I'm selecting the correct answer by clicking where it said incorrect and now it says correct. We have that there, then we'll click new question. The last thing I want to show you is how to add an image. So you'll not notice it says add image over here. I'm going to click on that and it is going to give me a few options. If I already have an image on my computer, I can upload it here. Or if there's one on the internet that you want to use, you can upload from a URL. I have that here. And I'm going to paste it and upload it. And now this question will pop up behind my text. Um, when I'm playing, if I want this to go away, I can actually get rid of it so students can see the question, then you can get rid of it, and then they can see the image. So let's go in and add our answers. Select the correct one. And now that we're all done, these are all the questions I'm going to need. Um, I'm going to click finish. Oh, I meant to mention up here is your timer. So if you would like to shorten the amount of time students have to answer the question, you can do that here. Um, you can lengthen it as much as you want. All right, so we're all done with that. So I'm going to click finish. I'll need to select the, the grade range, the content area. You can add tags if you want to make it a little easier to search for specific ones or so if people can find your quiz easier if, if you want other people to use it. And then finish and create quiz. There it is. When you go into your My Quizzes section, you'll see it there. In the next video, we'll talk about how to actually play your quizzes activity.